Um, okay guys, uh, sorry, this is part two of how to make a Left 4 Dead 2 server. Um, sorry about the time it takes. I've already gotten one comment asking for part two. So, I didn't think anybody would respond or whatever, since I'm not very popular and stuff. So, uh, I kind of waited to see what would happen, and I got a first comment, so, not here's part two. Okay. So, uh, part two is going to be installing source mod to your server. Um, got two links right here, which is meta mod, source mod, is which is, which is what you're going to need to make mods on the server, like, so you can jump super high and stuff. So you're just going to open up Internet Explorer. Okay, sorry about my computer being slow, just like that. Give it a second. opening. Okay, let me try that again. Okay, there it goes. Sorry. Okay. We're just gonna let's see. Just gonna take one of the just gonna take the first link right here. And this link is MetaMod, which is the first thing you're gonna need to uh put mods on the server. So, I'll have the links in the description, just so everyone can get to those faster. Uh, so, you know, just go to the website. And you're going to want to download whichever you have, Windows, Linux, Mac. Uh, I already have it installed. I'll just show you what it looks like, kind of. You're just going to choose whichever uh, server is closest to you. Like, so... This one's pretty close to me, and it'll it'll be a folder. Or on my screen, it'll be a Win Roar file, just so you know. So don't think you, you don't need Win Roar or anything. Now it's just gonna like this. Just save the file. Yeah, actually, you know what? I'll save it just so you, so you guys can see that. Uh, it's just gonna scan it because that's Firefox. You're gonna you're gonna want to make a VDF, sorry, and choose the game that you're making for for this Left 4 Dead 2, and you do not need to do this, so just skip this and then generate it and just save it like this. And let's see, see so you've got those two, and then we need to go to sourcemod.com. And let's copy paste. Okay. Then this is source mod. This is probably this is the main part of it, but you need both for it to work, so um let's see. One point five is the newest or three point five, sorry, is I think the newest one from what I remember. But I guess there's one point or point six now. Same it same thing. Just choose one that you want, and I'll just save it again, so you guys can see what it looks like. This this one's a bit bigger, so it'll take a second or two. I'll just close that down. And let's open downloads. And I'm just gonna tell you guys now. A lot of a lot of times when you're running a server, you're gonna find that a lot of a, like a lot of problems occur in it. So just giving you the heads up now. I've had so many problems with servers that, and generally the problem is um, God, what is it called? Uh, generally the plot the problem is source mod, like. Sometimes the Valve updates the game, and you just they you need to get get it like a new one, a new version of Source Mod. So just constantly check up if something's going wrong on your server. And yeah, and then you shouldn't have any problems. Okay, let's close this. Okay, so now that you have this out, you're gonna want to go to your uh, where your server is installed. 
So make sure you uh, watch the last part of that video on the one I made. Okay, so on mine I have it set up for Left 4 Dead 2 right here, and you're gonna have all this stuff. Okay, so now you have all you have these three things right here. So your MetaMod VDF, you're just gonna put that to the side for right now. So in add-ons, I left for Dead 2 or left for Dead tools. You you're not gonna have any of this besides this and this. So you're gonna wanna open your source mod file, which it's gonna be in a zip for you guys. It just looks like Win Roar for me. So it's uh. So this is the add-ons. So you want to go in one, and then here's MetaMod. You're just going to want to drag this into your add-ons. I already have it right there, so I'm just not going to, because then I need to replace all the files and stuff. So, so you just do that with MetaMod. Then source mod. There's two things you have to do for this. Sorry. Um. You need you need uh combined this source mod, you're going to want to drag this into the MetaMod folder, okay, and then you're just going to uh, drag the source mod into here, like I have it right here, and then you're also, here's that MetaMod VDF, just bring this in here too. Now, in the source mod folder, oh, never mind, sorry, got to go up one, there's going to be a CFG too, so you're going to want to go to your CFG folder, and see, I have a source mod right here. And then you would just drag this right in here. But I already have it in there, so no need. And then in here is where you're going to set up all of your configuration files for your mods that you have on your server. Like, just for example, um, let's go to CSM. So, most plugins on source mod will have a configuration folder where you can set it to what you want. So it's more geared towards your server. So and yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much how you install source mod. It's it's actually not that hard.